So hi, what's up? It's your boy Sports Wizard, and welcome back to another video on my channel. And today I'm gonna be doing the NBA Finals Game Four Warriors versus Celtics prediction. So yes, it's gonna be insane. But before we get started, for the people that watch my tennis videos, if you guys don't watch my tennis videos, you guys can fast forward for like twenty or twenty five seconds. But if you guys do my schedule for the remaining of the year for the tennis predictions are so after you know like you know since the french open ended next up i'm gonna be doing wimbledon after wimbledon i'm gonna be going to the u.s open hard courts and i'm gonna be doing rogers cup cincinnati open uh, like things like that and then after rogers cup and cincinnati open i'm gonna be doing the u.s open and then after the u.s open i'm gonna be doing the um, after the US Open, I'm going to be doing Labor Cup. And then after the Labor Cup, I'm, I'm going to be doing the ATP final. So that's the schedule. Wimbledon, Rogers Cup, Cincinnati Open, uh, US Open, Labor Cup, and then ATP final. So that's the schedule for tennis. So I just wanted to let you guys know so you guys could, you know, uh, stay updated. So yeah, Wimbledon, Rogers Cup, Cincinnati Open, US Open, um, Labor Cup, and the ATP final. So... That's the schedule. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, my prediction Warriors will win 115 to 110. Stephen Curry will, will score roughly 35 and 6. Clay, <coughs> Clay with <coughs> 23, 6 and 5. Tatum with 17, 5 and 4. And Brown with, uh, with uh, 22, 5 and 5. So, yeah. Um, so, look, first of all, like, I, I want to address something. For the people that say the Warriors are losing because of Stephen Curry, you are out of your mind, okay? You are literally out of your mind. Let's take the stats from the previous uh, three games, okay? So, game one, he had 34. They lost. Game two, he had 29. They won. Game three, he had uh, 32 or 30 or something like that. They lost, okay? I think he had uh, 32 in game three so yeah so he had 32 they lost so like he, he like look 34 29 and 32 so he had two 30 point games in like three games and the other one he had 29 so he's like consistently performing like at a, like at an elite level you know he has 29 or more points in all of the games if he had scored like one more bucket in that uh, game too, he would have had a 31 points. So, like, if that was the case, he would, he would have scored 30 or more in all of the games. And if you average it out, I think 34, 29, and 32, I think he roughly, I think he'd average about 30 points a game, honestly. I think a little bit more, maybe 31 or 30, yeah, 31 points per game throughout the entire series, which is great. And if he keeps continuing that, it's going to be even better. So, yeah. So, the thing is, like, Let's take uh, game three that happened last night, okay? Um, in that game, Steph had 32 points, okay? They lost by, I think, 15 or 16 points, if I'm not mistaken. So, look. So, I think they lost by 16. If Steph wanted to carry his team, he would have had to score 17 more points in order for them to win, right? So, like, if you add 17 to 32, you'll get 49 points. So, he would have had to score... 49 points in order for his team to win, and no one else stepped up. You know, no one else. Literally no one else. So, he would have had to score a 50-piece in order for his team to win. Like, isn't that crazy? Like, he would, have, he would have had to score 17 extra points without anyone even scoring a point. And even if Clay, you know, does score, like, you know, maybe, like, I'd say, like, three, like, maybe, like, five, six points, for example. Like, say he scores two threes. Then six points. So then Steph would still have to score eleven points all by himself, right? Like seventeen minus six is eleven. So then he would have had to score forty three points. So either way, he's gonna have to get into that forty plus range for his team to win if no one else is stepping up. If I think, like, if it follows my prediction, if it follows my you know thought process, in my opinion, Steph will score thirty tomorrow night. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. Uh, I think Steph will score 30, but I do think all the other dudes will step up also. Because if I say, okay, for example, if I say Steph scored 43 points, then I won't say Clay will score 23. I'll just say he'll score, like, maybe, let's say, for example, uh, 90. Why not? You know, so that would make more sense. You know what I mean? Like, Clay would probably only score 19, every, everyone else would score uh, 20 points. So let's say Draymond scores 10, uh, uh, 
clay scores 19 pool scores 18 you know what i mean so like people like things like that so if steph scores 40 everyone everyone else will literally score like less than 20 points but if like what happens is like i expect uh with Steph scoring 30 and Clay scoring 23, which will, which will make it much more, you know, evenly matched between those two guys. Then that's where, like, all the other dudes will step up. Maybe Poole will also get 20. Maybe Raymond will get 15, 7 and 7, you know what I mean? So he's very well rounded, right? So, like, maybe things like that will happen. But the only other option for the Warriors to win without, like, there are only two options for the Warriors to win, honestly. One... Uh, Steph has to do good, but all the other dudes have to step up. Two, Steph has to play extraordinary. So still, like, Steph has to be good. Like, for example, Steph plays... I mean, Steph scores 15 points. Or 14, you know, I type 14 on accident. Then the Warriors won't win. Regardless, even if, you know, even if Clay scores 23 points, if Steph scores 14, they won't win. So, like I said, there are two options. Either Steph, like, does this... Uh, with 30 points, which is good, uh, but all the other dudes also have to, you know, maybe like Clay and Poole will score like 20 to 22 points, for example, and then you know, Draymond still has to com contribute well on the defensive end. If that happens, then the Warriors can win. But the only other option for the War Warriors to win if Steph scores 40, you know, and it's gonna be very tough, right? Because like he can't just go out and score 40 because. If he scores 40, then no one else is helping him, which, you know, that's really tough. So, I think Steph, you know, he'll score 30, which will still be pretty good. But I think all the other dudes will step up also. I think Poole will get his fair share of 20 points. Clay, like I said, I think he'll score about 23 points. And then, like, you know, Draymond, like I said, I think he'll, you know, get a very well-rounded effort with maybe, like, 15 points. You know, everyone has to step up, you know what I mean, and play well on defense. So, yeah, I, ju I just don't think, like, Steph can just score 40 by himself and then everyone else just scores less than 20 points. I don't think that really makes any sense. But coming to the Celtics side, I already talked about the Warriors, right? You know, they have to play good. Steph can have 30 or he can have 40. But if he has 30, the other dudes also have to have more than 20. If he has 40, you know, the other dudes can have less than 20. But I think he'll have 30. And, you know, Clay and Jordan Poole will have about 20 to 25 points, maybe. And then, um... Uh... Uh, like, Draymond will have, you know, 15 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists, roughly. And then, like, uh, he'll play well in the defensive end. You know, everyone has to contribute. So, that's what I think the Warriors are going to do. Whereas for the Celtics, you know, Jalen Brown will be the guy that, you know, tries to carry them. 22, 5, and 5 for him. You know, I, 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 think, I think he could get a little bit more, you know. I'll just give him, wait, hold on. I'll give him 24, 5, and 5. Why not? Uh... I, I think 22 is actually. But who cares? You know, you you get the you get the meaning, right? Like, you know, uh, early 20s amount of points, you know? Whereas Tatum will only get 17. I think, you know, like, Tatum, I don't think he'll really step up. That's the thing, you know? I do not think he's going to play good. I think he's going to be, you know, horrible in terms of efficiency. I think he's going to, you know, not shoot well, like I said, in terms of efficiency. I don't think, you know, he, he might have a lot of turnovers. I think he's going to be the really the guy that, you know, is the weak link on the team because he, I don't think he's really that consistent. Jalen Brown, on the other hand, I think he'll try his best to, to uh, carry them. But I think, you know, the Warriors at full strength are, you know, one of the best teams of all time, you know, up there with the uh, late 90s Chicago Bulls or, you know, the 80s uh, Los Angeles Lakers or, you know, the 60s. Uh, Boston Celtics, you know, up there with the very best teams of all time. So, I think, yeah. So, the Warriors, in terms of them being healthy and, you know, all of them playing good, they're unstoppable. So, I think even though Jalen Brown, you know, even if he gets 22 points, I don't think it'll be enough because I think Tatum will not be doing good. He's going to have a lot of turnovers and he's going to be poor in terms of efficiency. So, I do think, like, Stephen Curry... Uh, I do think he's going to play well, but he'll also get, you know, help from Clay, Jordan Poole, Raymond Green, etc. And I do think, like, the Celtics, you know, they're not going to win this game. But I do think it's not going to be, you know, that much of a difference. I don't think it's going to be, like, a five-point differential. So, that's not too bad, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, comment down below what you guys think. Uh, do you guys think that the Warriors are going to win or the Celtics are going to win? Do you yeah, that's my prediction. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and 
turn on those notifications guys i really appreciate it if you guys like subscribe and turn on those notifications i really want to get to 80 subscribers it's my goal so and i'll see you guys next time peace